Good morning, bonjour, welcome. I uh, came to a one hour Pilates. My name is Jess, I'm gonna lead you through this class. Uh, we're gonna do something pretty grounded today, so we're gonna stay on our backs and I have a theme and the theme is circles. So we're gonna see if we can create space around our joints, <clears throat> just allow ourselves to explore moving out of rigidity or our patterns of kind of feeling a little stuck. So we're gonna see if we can move ourselves in 360 degrees. If you're new to Pilates, all good, okay? The breathing's a little bit different than some than yoga sometimes, so you just do your best. And as always, in any movement practice, any mindful movement practice, you're listening to your body. <clears throat> so if something doesn't agree with you, you can skip the exercise, you can pause, reset, and then join in. So for this class, uh, we don't really need very much, okay? Um, I'm going to turn the comments off in a, in a moment or two, and uh, I just invite you to now settle on your back. So come onto your back, bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, or you can extend your legs long, so you choose what feels good in your, in your body. All right. <clears throat> so on the back body, <clears throat> I'm just going to turn the camera this way, so you can see. Just starting with uh, noticing your breath. So feel your breath come in. Can you get a little heavier on your exhale? So though it's Pilates, there's still this intention around putting down extraneous effort, letting go of tension, and giving yourself permission to soften enough to feel what's under the surface. Let's take another breath. Breathe in. See if you can breathe a little lower down. Imagine into low belly pelvic floor. And exhale out of your mouth or through your nose, you choose. And we're gonna play with breathing out of the mouth a few times to see if we can get a little bit of a tone or a connection to our lower abdominals. So bend the knees so your feet are flat on the floor if they're not there already. <clears throat> Place your hands on your pelvis. So if you make a triangle with your fingers, your thumbs connected, your index fingers connected, and you place that triangle on your pelvis, it should be fairly level, okay? And if it's not, if your index fingers are pointing up or way down, see if you can level out um, the pelvis. So you're, you've got a little curve under your low back, <clears throat> and you're nice and flat across those frontal hip bones. Okay, so we'll place the fingers there just to see if we can feel a little tone here with our breath. So you're going to breathe low again, inhale, exhale out of your mouth, it's like you're breathing out of a straw, and see if you can feel a little toning or firming at the low belly. This is your transverse abdominus, again, breathe in, back and wide, front, back, side, body, exhale. So you think of your torso as a cylinder, and you're filling the cylinder really evenly with breath, as if you're filling a tire. So inhale into the spaces that maybe are a little less connected. Back ribs, low belly, exhale out of your mouth. Feeling a knitting in, a corseting feeling, or drawing in through the low belly. So let's keep this awareness of steadiness through the pelvis. We're gonna work with the arms, the upper body. Take the arms straight up over your shoulders and just start by lifting your right arm up. So the right shoulder is gonna lift off the floor and then let the shoulders sink down. So this stuff is a little bit deceiving. It's like, oh, yay, we're just gonna move really small and it might feel awesome, which is great. Um, it builds pretty quickly. So we're just warming up here. Left arm goes a little higher, inhale, shoulder lifts. Exhale, the shoulder drops down, take both arms up, inhale. Oh, floss for the shoulders, exhale, let the shoulders drop. And again, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, lower the arms. Glue the palms together now. So we're gonna do some rotation through the ribs. So palms are together, and we're gonna inhale, tip the chest to the right. And keeping the pelvis level, so you're not changing that. Exhale, come back to center. And we're gonna initiate the movement from the mid torso, so from your sternum, from your breastbone, we're turning. So arms and the chest are in one line. Inhale, roll over. And you can move your gaze, or move your head, I should say, with your arms. So 
rolling to one side. You anchor through the right heel, exhale, come back. You might feel your low belly working to stabilize your lower, lower back and hips. So inhale over, anchoring through that left heel, exhale, low belly in, draws you back. Okay, one more this direction. So inhale over, anchor through the right heel, exhale, come back to center. And let's see if we can just change this a little bit. So we're gonna do some circles with the arms. So you're gonna draw a circle on the ceiling. And really what you're thinking of is drawing a circle with your upper back. So you're going to go back and around, big circle and around. And just starting small. Go the other way with your circle. We're thinking of a circle on your back body. So pressing through the circumference of that circle around and around. Mobilizing through your upper back, waking up core support. Awesome. Take your arms by your sides. Let's go back to the hips. Okay, so the low belly is going to stay really strong to keep your curve in your low back. If for any reason it feels uncomfortable to maintain a curve, you can flatten back the back a little bit into the floor. The most important thing is that we create stability. So we're not moving around through the pelvis and the low back as we lift our legs. We're going to keep this really still. Weight in your left heel. Inhale, float your right knee up to a tabletop position. Okay. Place your left hand to your right thigh. We're going to do a little push, a psoas press. You're going to breathe in. You could dangle the shin, push your thigh into your hand, and vice versa. Sink this thigh bone down so you feel your low belly really working, in front of your hips really working. Stay here if this is enough. If you'd like to add on, nod your chin and curl up with your chest. If you want to challenge yourself a bit more, the thigh goes away from you. Keep it there and then press. Sink your breastbone to come up a little bit higher. Shoulders are broad, collarbones are wide. So it might feel a little shake. Hug in a little bit to the midline with your left leg and then lower your right foot down. Release arms by your sides, pause. Weight into your right heel right away, tailbone to the floor. That's how I anchor myself. So whatever allows you to stay really firm and solid through the pelvis, pick up your left knee. Okay, and then we'll place the right hand to the left thigh. You can dangle the shin, if that feels better, breathing in. Push the thigh into your hand and vice versa. So the crease of your hip is really, really deep. This left femur bone or thigh bone is sinking down. Curl up with your chest if you want to add on. Take the thigh a little bit further away from you, resistant to your hand and vice versa. See if you can sink your bottom ribs down in line with your hips. So you're really curling up, breastbone is heavy for three. Press, press, press. Okay, and then release, so lower the leg, lower the head down. Take your arms over your head now, inhale. Do a big circle with your arms. Exhale, down by your sides. Doing up your belt or your low belly as you do that. Inhale, the arms lift. Over your head, exhale, and you circle your arms around. Knitting in through the front body as you do that. Inhale, the arms high. One more time, exhale, circle the arms. Drawing everything in. Inhale, the arms go back. This time, interlace the fingers behind your head. Gonna add on some ab curl. Again, tailbone is heavy. Inhale, nod the chin. Curl up with your chest. Good. And exhale, just come down, not all the way, but maybe halfway down. Take another breath. Curl up a little higher if you can. So pressing your back ribs into the floor to lift up. Inhale back. You might try exhaling out of your mouth. So you get that low belly also active. Inhale, go back. Exhale, come up a little bit higher. One more like that, a little back. Exhale, curling up. Finding a shake is always a good sign. Keep the curl. We're going to twist to the right with the upper body. So inhale, anchor the left heel. Exhale, come back to center. So you're going to roll through your ribs to the left. And then exhale, come to center. Rolling the other way. Good. As opposed to just pulling on your head, this is happening from your side body. So turning through the ribs. Good. Coming back to center. Stay high in your ab curl. Twist to the right. Inhale. And exhale, center. Breathe wide into your back body. So you're floating up. And then come to center. 
Keep going. Inhale, tailbone heavy twist. And twist. Good. One more time. Twist to the left. Tailbone anchoring down. Center. Uh, inhale. Curl just a little higher here. And we'll do little pulses up. So you're going to pulse up and lower and pulse and keeping it small and keeping it really steady so we could do this really fast but the slower you go usually the more meaningful it is curl up and lower a couple more up and lower lift yourself up keep yourself up can you float your right knee up to a tabletop now okay lower your head tap your toes towards the floor breathe in Heavy through the ribs, exhale, curl up, lift towards your knee. Point your toes, inhale, lean the head back. Exhale and curl up towards the thigh. One more, inhale, lean back. Exhale, curl up with the chest. We're gonna change the movement, open the right knee to the right, lean your chest back. As you exhale, close your knee, lift and twist. So we're gonna open the knee without the pelvis shifting around. Exhale, lift and twist towards the thigh. Open the knee and close the knee. And one more time, open the knee and close the knee. Now take your left arm to the outside of your right thigh. You sink the shoulders down, breathe in. Lift the chest, push your arm into your leg and vice versa. Wide across your collarbones as you press for three. Tail stays heavy for two. And then center, inhale, lower your leg. Lower your head down. Hmm. So let it land. A lot of work for the front of the core. So let that, that circulation move through. Feel the heat in your body. Super, super healthy. Getting things moving. Okay, are you ready for the other side? Woo woo. Breathe in. Nod your chin, keep your tail heavy, curl up with your chest. So we won't do a million of those pulses. We're just gonna come right up. We're gonna add the leg right away. So tailbone heavy down, breathe in. Float your left knee up to a tabletop position. And we'll go right to the top of the toes forward. Let the head come back. Exhale and drag everything in. Inhale, the toes tap down. You can almost imagine that your leg is dragging through mud, so there's some resistance as you come up. Slowing down the way out, and really slowing down the way in. Two more, inhale. And you're doing up your belt, exhale, low belly strong. So now this time you tap, inhale. We'll curl up, we'll hold it up for a moment. You're gonna open your left knee. Nothing changes in the pelvis, so the thigh is externally rotating. Let's lean the chest back. Exhale, close the knee and draw that right side towards your left side into an X. Inhale, open. Exhale, lift and close. Inhale, open, knee to the side. Exhale, lift and close. We're gonna open, inhale, exhale, lift, right side body lifting you. Take the right arm to the outside of the left leg now. Push your arm into your leg and vice versa. Sink your shoulder, your right shoulder down. Breathe in, lift, and keep the pressure of the arm into the leg. Keep sinking your breastbone down as you twist for three. Tailbone heavy. Come back to center, inhale, lower your leg, lower your head down. Stretch out your legs for a moment. So flush that out. You can take your arms over your head, it's a big stretch. Lengthening, breathe in. Heavy body, exhale, breathing out. Okay, let's bend our knees, bring our feet flat to the floor. Now we're gonna extend the hips, we'll open the front of the hips. Arms are by the sides, plugging into the back of the, the arms. So you're really strong, zipping up right into your armpits. Rock your pelvis forward. Let's try that first before we come into our bridge. Flatten your low back by pulling your low belly in. And then do that again. Inhale, rock your pelvis forward. And exhale, pull your low belly in. So firming again through that deep core. Inhale. And exhale. This time, rock your pelvis forward. Inhale. Press to the backs of the arms, press through your heels, curl up, exhale, lift your hips to the sky. 
This is different than a yoga bridge in that we're gonna keep our ribs heavy. So you're gonna sink your breastbone down, feel the back of your, your upper back anchoring to the floor. Okay, and we'll lower the bum almost to the ground. Keep the ribs heavy, inhale. Exhale and lift the bum back up. Again, inhale, lower the bum, feel the hinges of your hips. And then exhale, you extend your hips. You take away the creasing as you engage your glutes to lift your hips up. Okay, a few more hinging down, folding at your hips. Exhale, lifting up, engaging your glutes. Down on the inhale. Keep the ribs heavy in line with the hips. Exhale, curl up. So you're going to really feel that when the ribs stay heavy. Let's try something for that. So arms go high. Take your arms wide to either side of you. And as you exhale, close your arms and see if you can feel your ribs knitting right over your hips. Pulling the heels back, reaching the knees forward. Inhale, the arms go wide. Exhale and close. And feeling that knitting. Okay, nothing in the low back here, so if you're feeling strained, lift your bum a little higher, sink your ribs low. Exhale, hug in with the arms. Good, arms go wide. One more time, exhale, squeeze. And inhale, open. Good. So exhale, squeeze, hug in. Bring your hands to your frontal hip, frontal hip bones. So your shoulders are heavy. Let's do a little exercise here. Lift your right hip a little higher than your left hip. You're gonna feel that glute working more and then level. You're gonna switch a little tip of your left hip up. And level the pelvis. Right hip up a little higher. Level that pelvis down. One more, lift your left hip up. And then down. So as promised, let's go back to our circles. Try a little salsa dance with your pelvis. You're going to go down, side, up and around with your pelvis. One half lifts, one half drops. You're creating a figure eight or a bow tie shape with your, your hips, your pelvis. And you want to keep it really small so that your knees aren't shifting around a lot. Okay, go the other way with your, with your salsa. <laughs> your little salsa dance. Mobilizing your pelvis, really, really great for the spine. We get really free through the pelvis to move. Waking up all these deep muscles through the pelvis, the hips, and the core. Good. Okay, lift up, strong glutes. Drag your heels back towards your bum. Take your arms up to the sky again. Now let's try a little switch of our arms. Right arm back, left arm forward. Exhale and bring the arms back to center. You switch your left arm back, your right arm forward. And exhale, center. Inhale, right arm, left arm apart. Exhale, center with your arms. And then switch, reach. Ribs stay heavy. Exhale and come back to center. Okay, both arms over your head. Roll up onto the balls of your feet. Let's roll down, so breastbone heavy. You're gonna roll down upper back, middle back. Bum is curled up right to the end. You're gonna lower your hips. Exhale, lower your heels down. <sighs> okay, just for a moment, pause. Open your feet wider now. So your feet are as wide as your mat. Turn your toes out. Knees are, are under your ankles, your arms are by your sides. Let's go back to the pelvic tilts, the pelvis tips forward. And the pelvis rocks back. And the pelvis tips forward, inhale. And the pelvis rocks back. Okay, one more time, rock forward, inhale, press through your hands. Pick up your hips now as you exhale, so you're gonna lift. Again, heavy through the ribs. And we'll go down and up like we did before in the first bridge, lower the bum almost to the floor. Keep both thighs pressing wide as you do this. Exhale and lift up as if you had a band around your legs, as if you're resisting something. So you go down on the inhale. Now we're gonna get into the outer hips a little bit more. Exhale, lift up. And we go down on the inhale. And exhale, we lift up. Okay, one more before we change the pattern. So go down with the bum. Lift up with your hips. Try lifting all 10 of your toes. So toes come up off the floor. Draw your thighs together. Really squeeze in through your inner legs. 
heavy through the ribs. Open the legs, exhale up. So inhale the thighs, internally rotate, and then exhale, they press out wide. Back of shoulders are heavy, thighs turn in. And the thighs press out. So try this, thighs come in, lower your bum almost to the floor. And then lift your hips up, exhale, widen your thighs apart. Draw your thighs in, lower your bum almost to the ground, heavy ribs. It's gonna really make a difference. Ribs stay heavy, lift, exhale, open your knees wide apart. So now knees come in, you're gonna lower your bum almost to the floor, pause, lots of sensation throughout our hips and inner thighs. Little pulses here, you're gonna pulse, pulse, heavy ribs, pulse, lift, lift. Good. So it's an un, you know, no doubt about where the sensation is in this. Can you stay relaxed in your face as you do this work? Woo! Feeling the glutes. Awesome. Okay. Lift your hips up. Open your knees wide. So now let's draw in with the knees and out with the thighs. In with the knees. And out with the thighs, one more time. In with the knees, out with the thighs. So now we're gonna do our thrust here. You're gonna pulse here. Up, up. You're really gonna feel the top of your bum working. Glutes working like crazy. So ribs heavy as you pulse, pulse, and pulse. Good. Wide across your chest for five. Can you drag your heels towards your bum? Reach your knees forward. Two. One, really lengthen, drag your heels towards your bum, sink your ribs, lift, lift, lift. And then we're gonna lower, roll down through your spine. Amazing, arms go your sides, let's, let's sway that out. So you're gonna let your knees fall to the right, look left. So all that hip work's like WD-40 in your hips. Okay? Lubricating the joints, we move better, move for more support. Come back up, inhale the knees, lift. Go the other way, exhale over, look over your right shoulder. And come to center, inhale, just enjoying it so it doesn't, it's not all torture. I shouldn't say that. It's not all um, super intense. There are these moments where you can really feel release and flow, so just really checking in with that, inhale so that you'll come back to this work again, <laughs> so you don't get scared away. The more we do this, the more we start to crave it because it is so good for the body. Moving well, come back to center. Let's try a roll up. Draw your legs long, so long to the floor. Um, hug in your inner thighs. So you're gonna really zipper up your legs, really point your toes. Before we do that, flex your feet, breathe in. Point your toes, exhale. Ribs are heavy. You point, or flex your feet, inhale. Again, point your toes, ribs heavy, feeling that little opening through the front of your hips again. Flex your feet, point your toes, hold that. Take your arms straight up over your shoulders. Nod your chin, inhale. We're gonna curl up through the upper body. So you're gonna rise, see if you can come all the way up to seated. Maybe, maybe not. Arms go high, inhale. And then exhale at your arms by your sides. So if that roll up didn't do, go super well, totally fine. We're gonna practice doing a half roll back, roll back, I should say, and then we'll come up. So this is a little bit easier when we roll back. So you can have your knees bent, you can have your legs straight, you choose. Okay, so knees bent, legs straight, anchoring up on your sit bones, and we're gonna get tall. Take your arms forward in front of you. Soften the elbows just a titch, the shoulders are heavy, and we're gonna lift the chest, inhale. As we exhale, we'll roll off the sit bones, and we'll come halfway back into a C-scoop with the core, with the, the upper body. Okay, so let's try a little movement here, back to our circles. Inhale, take your right arm to the right, reach your right arm up. Good, and then exhale, come back to center. Let's go the other way, inhale the left arm to the left and up. Following your hand with your eyes, exhale, center. Okay, inhale, the right arm goes up. Exhale, you come to center. And then the left arm goes back and up. Exhale, center. What I find helps is imagining squeezing something between my inner thighs. 
you can try rolling back just a little bit lower so you want to feel the work without any strain in your low back so staying long in your c scoop take your arms wide let's try some circles here so you're going to go around with your arms Woo. keeping a lift in your chest not collapsing in your low back feel this low ribs sink down and in so there's this congruency between your ribs and your hips at all times. Ooh. Go the other way with your circles. Around and around. Nice. What if I told you to take your arms back? You want to straighten the legs, take the arms up, inhale. Swim your arms forward as you exhale and roll yourself up to seated. So we're going to bring our hands, our fists together. This is called hand cisternum. And it's going to take the arms in a big circle, integrating the arms into the torso. It's a nice feeling when we get the coordination. So your fists together. We're going to roll off the sit bones into that C scoop again. Take your arms wide to either side of you. Turn your palms back behind you now. So now you're going to press, straighten your legs, squeeze the muscles between your shoulder blades, and then take the arms up and over, rounding, and coming all the way back up to seated, okay? So fists together, you can start with the knees bent if that helps you, otherwise legs stay straight, breathe in, roll off your sit bones into a C-scoop, take your arms wide, inhale, turn the palms back, exhale, press, dive forward, big circle, take your arms up and around, and then roll, come all the way up, again, Hands and a fist, lift the chest. Roll off your sit bones, come halfway back. Good, open your arms wide, inhale. Turn your palms back, exhale, press. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, dive forward. Take your arms up. And then roll all the way back up to center. We're gonna do one more, maybe a little different now. Breathe in, roll off your sit bones, pause here. Take your arms wide to either side of you. Can you close your arms in? Just like we did in bridge where we're knitting in the ribs. Same idea here. Inhale, the arms open. Exhale, and we close, feeling that core work. Good, open the arms. And exhale, close the arms. Open the arms. And exhale, close the arms. Open the arms, turn the palms back, and you just Pressing a little bit back, lift the heart up a little bit. Good, press back with your arms. Last time, take your arms over your head. Sweep forward, round your spine, and then roll yourself right up to seated. Awesome, let's come onto hands and knees now, tabletop position. Okay, so onto your uh, finger pads, your knuckles, you can double your mat up here. So if you have sensitive wrists, support your wrists. Okay, so we're going to be here for a little bit, not, not super long. We'll try to get you off your wrist a little bit too, okay? Draw your shoulder blades down your back, but also push the floor away so that your shoulder blades go wide. Shoulder blades slide wide and blades slide down a little bit. Heart reaches forward. Bring weight into your left knee and your right hand. Let's send the left arm for the right leg back. Notice how the right hip wants to lift, roll it down. So you're going to really level your pelvis here. Tall through the right arm, breathe in. And let's exhale, lift the arm and the leg apart. Good. Inhale, lower, just a little tap down. Exhale, lift up. And your tendency here might be to lean to the right. Can you keep your weight really um, tall on your left leg? You're not leaning to the right with your upper body, breathe in. Exhale, we lift. Feel the crease of your right glute working. So glute max here, exhale, lift. Widen your collarbones, one more, go down, breathe in. Exhale, lift up. Okay, we're gonna take the left arm to the left of us this time. Okay, keep the right inner thigh really drawing in. Could you open your left arm up? Exhale, bring your arm back in line with your shoulder. So rotation again, inhale, open the chest. And exhale, bring that arm back to shoulder height. One more, open the chest, inhale. Exhale, back to shoulder height. Let's bring the right, the left fingertips, I should say, to the temple, to the 
left temples, lift the elbow up. This time, could you bring your right elbow towards your right wrist and then lift back up again? This right elbow can bend a little bit, a little rotation. Inhale, come up. So rounding through the ribs and then lifting back up. One more in. Big twist and up. Take the arm forward. Open your arm and leg diagonally now. So you're gonna reach them apart. Take a breath. Exhale, hug them back in. And then inhale, open them back out. Can you puff up your back ribs? Draw everything in. Open everything out. Last one, draw everything in. Open everything out. Bring it in, breathe in. Sweep your left arm behind you. Okay, look over your left shoulder and reach your left arm forward. Sweep your arm back. Exhale behind you. And big circle of that arm forward. One more time. Sweep back. You might feel the side of your left glute working, the back of your arm, your lats and triceps. Inhale, arm forward. Last time, reach back, hold it back. Broaden across your chest. Turn your palm up towards the ceiling, lengthen the arm bone back, and then start to lift the arm up and down, up. This is too much, you bring the knee down, but if you can stay with the leg long, do that. Tall in the right arm, lift and lower, two more, lift. And this is only meaningful when you stay really, really squeeze the back of the arm and lengthen it. Lower, last time, reach, squeeze. Wide collarbones, reach. Good, lower your hand, lower your knee. Give yourself a moment, rest. So that's, it's a lot of work. And it's normal when you're first starting this stuff to feel like, whoa, what's, how do I coordinate all this? Eventually it gets clearer and clearer, so just be patient with it. And just notice the effect on your body. And we'll go to the, before we actually do the other side, let's stand up on our knees. We'll give ourselves a little intermission if you have a block or a ball or something you can put between your inner thighs, that would be awesome. If you don't, that's totally fine. And I would recommend coming up onto doubled mat with your knees. So your knees are padded. We're gonna try something called thigh stretch, which is an incredible, uh, it's great work for the front and the back of the body. We're gonna stay really tall, okay? So you're gonna turn on your glutes, squeeze your inner thighs, take your arms over your head, inhale. Bring your arms forward in front of you. As you exhale, we're gonna lean back in one straight line. So knees right up through the armpits. The ribs stay heavy over the, the pelvis as we've been practicing. And then we're gonna come up again, inhale. Arms come forward, exhale, lean back. So I'm not breaking at the ribs. The glutes are super active, tail reaches forward. And then come back up. Reach the arms forward, exhale, squeeze the back line of your body. Good, take the arms up. So this time, bend the elbows, go wide with your elbows. Try squeezing your elbows together and behind you. Draw the shoulder blades in. Heart lifts up, inhale, lean back with that squeeze between the shoulder blades. Good, and then reach back up again, inhale. Bend your elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lean back. So upper back is active, glutes are active, whole back line is active. Inhale, go up. And your front body is supporting you. So we're not collapsing. Okay, come up with the arms, inhale. Dive your hands forward, exhale. Come back onto your hands and your knees, move the block. So block to the side, tall and lifted. Maybe you want to do a cow and a cat before we go to the other side so you can lift and tailbone heavy round your spine. Lift your chest, inhale. And round your spine, really pushing the ground away, hauling the front body. You notice where you're moving from, dip the, those low back little dimples down as you lift your chest up. And then tail heavy, really round, come in. Let's pause here, we'll do a circle with our rib cage. Slide the ribs to the right, let your ribs sink down. And now slide the ribs to the left, let the ribs lift up. So you're gonna go over, down, over, up, and around with your ribs. 
And this one's called Sexy Cat. Get into it. <laughs> so you can add on to this if it feels right. You roll into the right, doing a little side bend, looking over your right shoulder. So wag the tail and then round your spine. Inhale. Go the other way, wag your tail to the left. Rounding and swish the tail. And rounding and swish the tail. Good. Come to center. Curl the toes under. Let's do <clears throat> one last thing for our wrists before we do the other side. So toes curled under if it's okay. This is actually a great stretch for the feet. You can make it active by driving your toes forward and pulling the toes towards your shin. So you're strengthening your shins at the same time. Take your arms forward. We'll do a little uh, wrist prep or strengthener so we can bear more weight in our wrists eventually. So you're gonna draw your fingers in like this and fingers out and fingers in. And I'm really uh, moving from my wrists. So uh, you're gonna feel potentially your forearms start to activate pretty soon. Out with the fingers in and out. And these are called forearm flares come from Edo Portel, who do, does a lot of um, functional range work, really cool um, yeah, stuff to wake up our body in these big ranges of movement, or finding these ranges we don't usually go into. So in and out, and then spread your fingers wide, draw them in. Spread them wide and draw them in. If you're on the computer all the time, this is really good work for you. Okay. And then pinky fingers are gonna roll in all the fingers wrapped towards the palms. If you need to come off the toes, do that. You can sit on your heels. And now like you're revving an engine, draw your thumb knuckles in and down towards each other. And out. In. Really squeeze, the arms are super straight and out. And squeeze. And out, one more. Squeeze. Bring your thumbs forward. Spread your fingers, draw your fingers back towards your face as you push your thumbs forward. Wide collarbones, reach, reach, reach. So wrist creases are super clear. You're trying to get as creased as you can through the front of your wrists as you draw your fingers back. Awesome. Oh, shake it out. You can bring your hands together and do circles for your wrists one way and the other way. Okay, let's come onto our hands and knees again. So we'll do the other side of our quadruped and our opposite arm and leg reach. So now your left hand and your right knee will be your anchor. Okay, you may notice I still have a curve in my low back, so that's, that's good. You wanna keep that neutral curve. You just wanna hang in it. So front body draws into the back body. I still have a dip through the low back. Take the right arm forward, take the left leg back. Okay, internally rotate that left leg. Take a breath in, and then exhale, lift your arm and leg apart. Inhale, lower them down. Exhale, lift them, wide collarbones, and lower. Okay, so up. Usually we do the exhale where it's hardest, so exhale to lift from the crease of your left glute. Inhale to lower, exhale, lift. Seeing if you can find a coordination. So you're really moving at the same time, getting those oblique slings, those um, diagonal slings of support in your body, really fired up, lift. One more time down. And exhale, lift up. So you're gonna reach, take the right arm to the right of you, okay? Keep the left leg internally rotated. Open the right arm up, breathe in. Exhale, bring your arm back in line with your shoulder. Can you get really, really vertical on this side as you work? Inhale, the right arm turns, or the chest turns really, and the arm goes with the chest. Exhale, center. And one more. Open your chest. And exhale, come to center. Bring your right, your fingertips to your temple. Lift your right elbow now, your chest, and then bring your right elbow towards your left wrist. So big rotation. Inhale up. Exhale, revolving down and in. Inhale, go up. Exhale, turning here. You're gonna go up, 
take the arm uh, forward, take a breath in, sweep the arm back beside the hip, keep the front ribs knitting into the back ribs, reach your arm forward, breathe in, exhale and sweep back with your hip, wide across your chest, one more, inhale, arm forward, sweep back, take your arm back, hold it back, turn your palm up, so you're in an internal rotation, and we're gonna work here, long arm, reach the arm up an inch, and lower it, wide across your chest, lengthen and lift, squeeze the back of your arm, and lower it, low belly on, lengthen and lift, and lower, one more time, lengthen, lift, maybe your right outer hip is really speaking to you, that's awesome, if it is, sweep your arm forward, take another breath, reach, and lower your leg, lower your arm, Shift back, you can come to a seated position or you can be in child's pose for a moment, turn your palms open, take a breath. In and out. My hope from this work is that we're feeling tall, really open across the chest from that pull work and push work at the same time. Bring your forearms to the floor, let's come off our wrists. We're gonna do a little inverted work here. So you're gonna push with your forearms so you get tall in your shoulders. You're not sinking in your shoulders. Shoulders, you're lifted out of them and then slide the shoulder blades down again like we practiced earlier. Curl your toes, inhale. Hover your knees and pike your hips. Exhale to the sky. So you're lifted, you're in a dolphin shape. This is dolphin pose in yoga. Bring your feet together. Let's come up on our tippy toes. See if you can deepen the creases of your hips. Keep your shoulders lifted. Exhale, lower your heels down. And as you do this, pull your lower ribs in and up. Lift the ribs away from the floor, draw the belly in. And exhale, lower the heels down. Again, lift up, everything hugging in, deep in the hip creases. Exhale and lower the heels. One more lift. And lower, walk your feet back, come into a forearm plank so that your shoulders are right on top of your elbows. So in plank, everything's working, the front and the back of your body. You're gonna push your heels back energetically, but drag your toes forward at the same time. Reach your chest forward through your arms. It's almost a hint of a back bend as you drag your forearms back. You lift the side waist, lift the side ribs, breathe in. Pull your low belly to your spine, exhale. So strong, you can come to your knees anytime. So knees is great. Could we go a little wider with our feet now? So you're gonna split your feet wide. Let's pivot on our feet. So we're gonna to go to the left, right forearm is heavy. So again, we're rotating. Come back to center, inhale, and pivot the other way. Inhale to center. When you pivot to the left, keep the left hip lifted. Really push through the right forearm. Come to center, inhale, pivot the other way. Left forearm really anchors, lift the right side waist up. One more time each way. Inhale, pivot, stay lifted and center. And the other way, pivot, press, and come to center. Good. Put your knees down if you need to. Drag your chest forward. Breathe in. Lower your hips. Exhale, come all the way down. So we're going to split our feet, turn the palms open, widen across the chest. Imagine you had a TheraBand or something in your hands, so we're gonna do a little rotator cuff work, a little strengthening through the back of the shoulder. Breathe in, imagine pulling that TheraBand apart and seeing if you can feel a squeeze in the back of the shoulder. Okay, and then come back in. Exhale, a little squeeze. Widening and then coming back in. And a couple more, collarbones broad. So I'm lifted, I'm not hanging in my shoulders, and I'm squeezing the back of the shoulders as I pull. And in, last time, pull out. Okay, and then imagine you're just staying right at the, at the edge there, doing little pulses there. So pulsing out, squeezing back of shoulder. Five, four, three, two, lift your chest, squeeze, and then lower. Come down, so you're gonna stack your hands, rest your forehead. Shake out your hips if you need to. Soften your shoulders out of your ears. Breathing here. So we've already worked the back body quite a bit. Um, and my focus on is, is going to be um, more 
more circles and more rotations. We've done lots of rotation. We're gonna do a little extension now, so getting into the upper back a little bit more. And then we'll do a rotation with some extension um, and close. So forehead on the back of your hands, soft shoulders. Press the pubic bones a little forward into the floor. So this is useful if, you, if your low back is really arched or if you're sensitive through your low back. Find a little bit more length, flush of your bum towards your heels. And then we'll lift the head up, soft shoulders. You're just gonna lift the head and lower the head back down. Shoulders soft, inhale. Think about lifting from between your shoulder blades and lower back down. Inhale, we lift, heavy shoulders, neck is free here, and lower down. And again, lift up, back of head, pressing. Good, and lower yourself down. We're gonna take our arms now into a robot shape, or a cactus shape with the arms. So the elbows are bent in line with the shoulders. And I'm gonna invite you to bend your knees and cross your ankles if your low back is sensitive. So it's gonna give you a little bit more support through your low back. Press the pubic bones forward, inhale, shoulders roll back, lift the chest up, breathe in. Lift the forearms up a little higher. Exhale and squeeze your elbows towards your ribs. So we did this from our knees standing. We're gonna take the arms a little forward, inhale. Forearms lift, exhale and pull in. So really feeling the upper back strength. And take the arms forward, keep the forearms lifted, exhale and squeeze in and in. One more, inhale, arms forward, press the ankles together, keep the glutes on, exhale, pull back. So let's try extending the arms long. We did internal rotation earlier. Make fists with your hands, externally rotate your arms. So turn your inner elbows out. Squeeze the shoulder blades together on your back, slide them down. And now internally rotate your arms. Can you cross at your wrists behind your back, lower your chest down, pause here. And then lift the shoulders, lift your wrists up, straighten your arms, lift your chest, inhale. Turn your our arms open and then reach forward in front of you. Find a V shape, take a breath. Exhale, sweep your arms back. Stay in external rotation. Turn into internal rotation. Can you cross the opposite wrist on top? Lower everything down. Okay, breathe in. Lift the shoulders, lift the hands. Lengthen. Exhale, lift your chest. Inhale, sweep your arms forward. In of you. Good. Reach long, lift your chest, take another breath. Stack your hands lower, exhale down. Shaking out your hips if you need that. I guess we should cross our legs the other way, shouldn't we? Okay, so cross your legs the opposite way that you just did. Keep the ones pressed forward, ankles pressed together. You might feel your hamstrings kick on a little bit more there. Let's go right into the V shape, thumb knuckles towards the sky, shoulders roll back. Okay, so press in front of hips down, inhale, lift your arms, lift your chest a little bit. Take your arms wide. And then keep external rotation for a moment. So feel the, the opening across your chest. Internally rotate your arms and then cross at your uh, wrists and lower down. Try to remember which one's on top. Lift the shoulders, inhale, lift the hands. Uh, exhale, extend the arms. Inhale, sweep your arms in front of you in a V. Reach, reach, reach. And then go back again, exhale. Pausing in external rotation. Turn the arms in, cross the opposite wrist forward. Lower down, there's usually one side that feels more awkward. So really valuable to work that side that's a little disconnected. Lift the shoulders, lift the hands, lift the chest, straighten the arms. And then turn your arms out, take your arms forward into a V shape. So lengthen. Straighten your legs, reach your legs back. Really buoyant, lift the chest a little higher. Lower the chest, lift the legs a little higher. Lower the legs, lift the chest a little higher. Lower the chest, lift the legs a little higher. Lower the legs, one more time, lift. And lower everything, long lengthening, and then lower. Bring your hands 
under your forehead, shake out your hips if you need. Soften your shoulders. So let's do one more dynamic kind of rotation. So we're gonna go through rotation into kind of a back bend feeling. So a nice circle to close and then we'll get onto our back. So you bring your hands beside you. You're looking to the right. And we're gonna do a push of this right hand. We're gonna lift one half of the pelvis and tip to the left side. So actually have your left arm over your ear here, press. And we're gonna tip, lift the leg, send the leg behind you and just watch you're not breaking at your ribs. Your ribs are gonna stay in line with your hips. You're gonna feel your glutes working. And then we're gonna come back down to the ground. So hip extension with rotation, okay? Pressing lift, and we're gonna open, and then bring it back, lowering down to the pelvis. Okay, inhale, press from the crease of your bum, lift, and open, you can reach this arm part forward, so feel that length, and then slowly come back, lower onto your pelvis. So low belly on, length and lift, press, tip. Take that arm in front of you and then reach the right leg back. So really feel the length taking up a lot of space in your body. Slowly draw your leg forward now. Take your arm over your head so you're going the opposite way. Leaning back so your right shoulder's on the floor. And then we'll slowly shift so the right leg goes back and the upper body comes forward. Leg comes forward, a big circle through your upper body. So leaning back, really long through your sideways. It might feel like a great stretch through the side of your hip, through the side of your waist. Come back to center, inhale, lengthen. One more, coming back. So you're feeling the counter lever, the Arm and the leg are going in opposite directions. The ribs stay right over the hips. So you don't get this into your lower back. Okay, come right onto your back body. Lower your right leg down, arms by your sides. Take a breath where you are. And just noticing how you feel. We'll do the other side to close. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see me, but we're gonna be Lifting our left side body now. So you're on your belly, your left hand pressing into the floor, the right arm over the ear. Engage from the crease of your left boot. You can tent these fingers, tip the pelvis. So you're moving, uh, there is movement through the pelvis and you're finding a twist now up your back, through your mid back, leg goes back, right arm or left arm reaches forward and then slowly come back down again. When you get your hips really strong and clear, uh, these rotations feel pretty awesome. So press, lift, everything kind of moving together. Torso and hips congruent. This arm can come forward. Feel that space, taking up a lot of space here, and then slowly coming down to the floor. From the crease of your bum, lift and open. This arm comes forward. Soften the shoulders. Keep the ribs in line with the hips. Keep this leg up in line with your hip. And then slowly come down. So this time we'll change it. From the crease of your bum, inhale, lift. Tip to your side. Take one arm forward. Now we're gonna switch it. Your leg is gonna come forward. As you take your arm back, and behind you, letting your left shoulder come toward the floor, press your left hip away from you, and then come all the way back, send that leg behind you as your top arm comes forward, again, leg goes forward, upper body starts to roll back, with control, opening up wide through the collarbones. Letting yourself color outside of the lines. Inhaling, taking that arm forward. 
Awesome. Check in. Are you staying lifted? Sometimes the side bum is a little sleepy. So keeping it active. Okay, coming back. This leg, left leg comes forward. Left leg goes back. Reaching. Good. And then we'll slowly lower, come right down onto the floor into a starfish. I'm taking a big breath into the space that you have here. Big breath in. And a long breath out. Heavy body, soft body. You want to bend your knees, and if there's any last minute or last little sways you want to do with your hips here, last little movement, it's nice to just release one more time. Yeah, you often close my classes with a little bit of breath work that works the diaphragms from the inside out. So you could bring the soles of the feet together, let your knees fall open. One hand to heart, one hand to belly. Take a breath in. Normal exhale out of your mouth. And then we'll breathe down into the pelvic floor like we did at the beginning of class. Inhale, fill up a third of your lungs. Hold that fullness from your hips to your ribs, fill up another third. And from your ribs to your collarbones, fill up. Tuck your chin, keep pulling, imagine pulling up on your, your body, your inner body, right into the back of your skull. And then open your mouth, let it go, exhale. Releasing tension from the inside out. And try that again, inhale, pelvic floor, Think about gathering there, even though you're pressing down with the breath, there's a holding, there's a container you're creating. From hips to ribs, breathe in. Pause, from ribs to collarbones, inhale, tuck the chin. Relax your face, hold. Good, let it go, exhale out of your mouth. Feel the space, arms by your sides. One last clearing breath here. In and out. And I invite you to stay as long as you like, maybe gathering your knees. Give yourself a hug here at the end if you need it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.